Hey, hi! I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home! This massive boat floats because of its air and I'm going over today's science file and today's science file it says... What's the real reason that boats float? Well, that's an awesome question, so try this. You will need a one liter measuring cup, a smaller measuring glass, and some water. Okay, so you probably think that boats float because of their shape. But then again, a lot of people think the things they think are right. When I think, you're wrong. Right? Haha! <laughs> So check this out. So I have this measuring cup full of water filled to exactly 900 milliliters. Okay, so if I take this object right here and I pop that object in the water, kind of like this, what do you think is going to happen to it? Now check that out. It floats. The water level is actually higher than 900 milliliters. I'm going to put the water in the pilar. Just don't put the pills in the people. <laughs> Check that out! It sank! Its shape didn't change, but it still sank! Now if you want to see something even way more wicked cool, check this out! The water level is not displacing the same amount anymore. In fact, it's displacing about 50 milliliters less. What does this all have to do with how boats float? Well, don't look at me, take a closer look at this. Some people think that the shape of a boat's body is the reason why heavy iron ships are able to float. However, if the shape of the boat is really the reason why boats float, we have to ask ourselves why do boats sink when their main bodies are filled with water? The answer is that as water fills the boat's body, eventually just the weight of the boat by itself will be displacing water, but won't weigh the same as the displaced water. This means that something else is adding additional weight to make the boat weigh the same as the amount of water that is being displaced. Boats are full of a lot of air spaces, either on purpose, but mostly because of the atmosphere. You may not think that air is heavy, but if we were to measure the weight of the boat plus the weight of the volume of air, we get the same amount of weight as the displaced amount of water, which is why boats are able to float. It doesn't matter whether it's a boat, ship, or canoe, or even whether it's made of heavy metals or light woods, all boats float due to the weight of the volume of air within the main boat body. So now you know that this boat here floats because of air, you know? Being able to see this right at home is why science is so wicked cool.